All right, welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our journey number one as Fia's blood assassin for Elden Ring. We are following Fighting Cowboys walkthrough guide. Uh, I am just using that to get my guy uh, as complete with his journey number one as possible. If you're looking for a walkthrough, open up the the uh, more info section of my video, and I have a link to his guide right there. It's it's my favorite guide for Elden Ring on the internet. There's a lot that he has to say that I do not repeat uh, for the purposes of, of my playthrough here. But we are in Stormvale Castle. We're about halfway through his video there, and uh, we're trying to make our way to Godric the Grafted. So... Last episode, at the end of last episode, I had the unfortunate realization that claws are not going to work for what I was intending them for because I can't seem to apply poison to them. They don't take it. Uh, so it looks like we will be sticking with some kind of a twin blade and uh, perhaps adding a bloody halice to that uh, in the future, maybe a strike weapon as well. But uh, let me put you on pause, and I will find out what's up next for our character here. Okay, well, he goes and uh, through where these birds are at up ahead, and he drops off the ledge. I forgot about this area, actually. There's a crucible fight down there that because Cowboy is pretty good with parry, he's able to beat. I have a heck of a time with crucible knights, so... Uh, I'm gonna be sprinting past him, and I'll come back to him another time. But we want to draw these birds. was a little tricky to get uh, let's see drop down to here looks like that one's the closest okay good oh, it didn't I missed it that time. timing was off just a little bit Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was an accident. Dang, missed the game like this. Same problem. Time was off just a touch. Okay. So I accidentally used a health flask. That's not good. But we can come up here now. And we can... Uh, fall off this ledge basically and drop down to that one Then move over here. I think it was I might have to re-reference this video That looks like quite the drop That looks more reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> I feel like a knucklehead. All right. I did have to watch a little bit, you know, quite a bit of his video. I was watching it on two by speed. So I just need to go back and look. Let me get, get us to where... Well, actually, I'll pause you and I'll get us back to where I was. So we can save some time on the video. Be right back. Okay, so uh, he goes all the way over here to the corner. Drops to this ledge. Takes this all the way over. Drops to this crumbling tower. I'm 98% sure that he drops off right here, and I think it's going to give way, but now I want to double check, so I'll be right back. Okay, it's actually a couple more drops than I thought. It is right here. 
We drop. Then we come over here and drop off to here. And, uh... Then we drop to here, and this crumbles away. It's scripted. Get the Storm Soul Ash of War. There's our Crucible Knight. We should be able to sprint right by him. Let me, uh... Hide in a bush. <laughs> And uh, double check on that. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got a somber smithing class two that we can grab. Off to our left. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't make it. Get it? I guess I got it. Son of a gun, I wish I, I'm gonna have to confirm that in video, guys. I was spamming the Y button to pick it up. See ya. <laughs> And this will take us back to where the gray site that we started out, the Rampart Tower, I think is what it's called. Right here. All right, uh, gotta pause you again, see what's next. I, I am pretty sure I know, but I, I just wanna make sure about it. So, stand by. Okay, we are going to go talk to Rajir now and try and get by um, a knight and his squire. He's not actually called a squire. He's, uh, I forget what he's called now. We've seen them before. They they wear the, the, uh, the hood that I'm wearing right now. Anyway. Draw a bird out right here. Oh. I gotcha. Class two regular something stone. Got that. All right, we will drop down right here. There's stuff down there to get. I'm sure he's going to show us. I just, I think I do remember that actually. Yeah, that'll come later. Grab this. Kukri's. Five of them. Drop down into here, and we'll talk to Roderick, Rogier. I wanted to call him Roderick. Ah, nice. The pleasure's mine. Roger, I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. Uh -huh. But enough about me. This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They're not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose. I'm here to defeat Godric. I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hand. You can see it then. I take it. Well, enjoy it. I'm tarnished. Like you. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for them. Still, I won't forget how it felt when I first came here to the lands. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? As a fellow tarnished.
Um, I feel like I'm probably gonna lose my runes anyway, so I'm gonna buy these now. I'm gonna get two out of three. Okay, and I think that's all his dialogue. Oh, keen to learn another. The battle art you've learned is of the Glintstone family. They were conceived at the Great Academy of Rhea Lucara. In the past, they obeyed laws which contra... Fascinating, isn't it? That the Golden Order was pliable enough to absorb practices that contradicted it. With the Order broken, twisted, and in such adaptability is more important than that. That's interesting. Playing a spell sword uh, appeals to me also. I'll probably do some kind of a build on that in the future. Okay. This, uh, this knight can be tricky. Sometimes I'm aces on him and sometimes I just get rolled. I should have gotten me. Dang it. Oh. Nice. <laughs> All right. We're going to venture into the castle. That guy down there is going to be a pain in the neck. I think, if I, if I remember right, fighting Cowboy kind of cheeses him, but I don't plan on doing that. I want to, I want to test my character against him. Okay, this is as far as I watched the video, so I'm gonna sneak around here where I know I won't be seen because I think there's a guard that passed around here, and I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. I know this is a lot of pausing. This is kind of how I have to do it to make sure I get everything. Uh, for you guys, it shouldn't be too bad. You should just hear me saying stand by a bunch and then it clips to the next thing, but anyway it's not the same as seamless gameplay darn it <laughs> I don't remember him oh there climb yet yeah. okay <laughs> I was looking down instead of looking at the wall I thought he grabbed something here I guess not Yeah, I guess not. So uh, from here, we just drop down over here and kill a guy. Pop 
pop this door open. Whoa! I don't actually remember him running into those guys. Maybe I saw it and completely blinked it in the video. Uh, as I've said a couple times now, I am playing it at two by speed. So anyway, uh, I know he goes through here. And uh, there's a guy over here. stone sword key right here and I think this is where he ends up cheesing this boss from using um yes he's, he sees us <laughs> using uh ranged his crossbow but uh, I'm gonna put our guy right here and stand by okay well he actually has to reposition in order to get line of sight on him so he goes through and kills uh, another knight and uh, that's what we're gonna do we're not gonna cheese him the way that cowboy did I, unless I have to I, I might have to but I'd like to try and take him straight on first Let's let the knight path all the way around. We'll try to... Mmm, I want to put poison on him. And I don't know if I can get a, a backstab with a twin blade. Target. Oh, they closed the distance quick. An altered banished knight helm. I just want to see what that looks like. That's pretty awesome looking. That's neat. It's got the dragon up top. Not the style for our dude, but maybe a, a future build. Oh, that's the pumpkin head. All right. Well, we jacked this dude up. That poison really helps. I enjoy the, the play dynamic there. The, uh, I guess mechanic is the word, not dynamic. Okay. Uh, so we'll go through here. And uh, Fighting Cowboy comes over here. And he hops up on this ledge. And then he fires his cross bolt at this guy, and I think he's got like rot bolts. We're gonna go ahead and try and take him down. Oh god. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, I'm gonna mute Mike here. And then we'll edit this, you know, I'll edit it in the uh, video editor.
Oh, there we go. New mic. How is that? That felt really good, guys. I, I beat him on my second try. Look, I can still even recover my runes. That's pretty incredible. I'll probably keep that whole gameplay so that you can see how I sprinted past everything. I'll just um put the footage on. Like, I'll fast forward it. All right, let's uh, let's get these guys. Wait, I want to make sure that I have not missed anything. I think there's dogs out there that I have to face. No, those dogs are over here. Alright, looks like I got everything from this room. I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys out. I think I need to go upstairs for anything that's just guys I'd have to kill all over again. But I do know that he... He, uh, kills the dogs. This should be that little kitchen area, so the dogs are over here. This and this, and this is what uh, Rodrika sent us here for. Well, it's not what she sent us here for, but I, I think it's I don't remember now, to be honest. Let's take a look at that hood switch display a hooded cloak of vivid crimson worn by expatriated royalty increases vigor such cloaks were gifted to those who departed on journeys without specific orders to faraway lands from which they would never return in other words the gift of a cloak made it easier for undesirables to be on their way Roderica never once saw the guidance of grace Well, it says it increases vigor. Yeah, it does. One point of vigor. So, uh... It's a little bit less poised than this cloak. Actually, a lot less. From 31 to 28. But let's equip it and see what it looks like. I'm not sure which one... I think I like the other one more. I kind of like this one, guys. Alright. This is, uh, again, where I need to pause you and see what's next in the video. Stand by. Okay, for him, he's reached the end of his video, and so now we're into the beginning of his next video, which I believe is actually titled Godric the Grafted. Uh, he winds up going to here. No, he comes back down. He goes across over to here. 
He goes through there. We're going to go in there in a minute. We're going to get the Misericord. Pretty good dagger. But we'll grab the Somber Smithing Stone Class 2. And I don't remember what the reason was. I didn't really pick it up the first time I went through either. But he, uh, he drops a rainbow stone here because... Because he knows he's coming back to this point. And, uh, and he wants to mark, he, he leaves a rainbow stone as a marker of, okay, this is the spot that I was wanting to come back to. So he can spot it from somewhere else. I, uh, am not seeing the ability for me to do any of that. Got gravity stone, warming stone, ruin fragments, explosive stone. Okay, so we're just not going to worry about it. I don't remember it being a big deal from the last time either. The last time I, I used this guide to go through here. So we'll just press on. There's a guy in here. didn't work. Smithing stone two. Iron wet blade. There's a dude to kill out here. Got the full exile armor. We'll be checking that out. There's the misericord. And the hot crest wooden shield. Let's get here into the light. Look at a couple things. First, let's look at the misericord. Okay. Um, it has quick step on it, slash and pierce, of course. E and D scaling, no passive effects. Does hit pretty hard. I think it has a high crit. Yeah, 140. Dagger favored by military physicians in white. The pointed blade is hard and sharp, making critical hits especially potent. Medicine is mercy, and mercy upon the battlefield is ruthless. Beware the killers clothed as men of compassion. So, uh, this can be a hard, hard-hitting dagger. And the reason I don't use it is because it doesn't have a passive effect on it already, so... Uh, I feel like for what I'm going for, my bloodstained dagger ends up being better. All right, uh, let's try equipping this. Ah, uh, look, uh, maybe a little bit too much like them. What if I paired that? This? No. Looks really you know, girly, honestly, is kind of what comes to mind for me. There we go, we'll just stick with this. This is a pretty awesome look. Might, might be with this look for quite a while. All right, uh, we'll find out what's next. Stand by. Okay, I hope I get this right. He, uh, he goes outside now. Uh, back to the area where we fought that dude and out into a courtyard. And, and he makes a beeline for the next grace site. So I played the video at double speed, so I hope I can orient correctly here. I know in general where it's at. but sometimes I can get really easily spun around. So, I'm just letting you guys know, me me as an individual, uh, I, might, I might run us right into danger here.
All right, he heads to that scaffolding. And then the gray site that he's talking about, I think it's over that direction. Oh, he might run to that scaffolding. Shoot, I need to look at this again. Hold on. Okay, yeah, it is to the right. He he lost me a little bit as I'm playing it at double speed uh, because he went for a bunch of different loot and stuff. We're just going to run straight for the grace. We're going to stay mission-oriented here, and that's our goal. So, out here... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Then through here. Oh, not, not at him. What the... Uh, see, I told you, man. I, I get so disappointed in myself. Let's see. It was up there, I guess. Not that guy. Oh, over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right here. I had to get to something that I recognized. Okay, de-aggro everything. Okay, we got to take this big guy out, and then we got to clear the courtyard. Sometimes it really does feel like I'm playing an assassin because you're at a disadvantage, right? You're, you're light armored, you're weak, but uh, you can chip away and you have these little tricks like poison and stuff that you can apply and you dance around your target and you wait for an opening and stuff like It's just, it's, pr it's been pretty fun. The gameplay for this character has been a lot of fun. Okay, got the prophecy painting. Now we will clear the uh, the courtyard. I like to go ahead and use my minions. Okay, got a few more. 
I believe that's all of them up here. Let's go ahead and grab the loot. And we got some guys to kill down there too, but I'll get to them in a minute. We want to climb up into both of these scaffolding things. I'm not really sure what to call them. That's what Cowboy calls them. And I don't have another word for it, so I guess that's what it is. He, he uh, uses that word in another... ...in another video. there. Pike? I don't think I've ever gotten that before. Alright, there was a second one of these I thought. Yeah, there it is. shield and then one more piece of loot right here and now we should be able to go uh, down that ramp and kill those three guys Took one nick. Not bad. So now we're back up into here. We don't want to go any further the other way. And this is where I will tell you to stand by. Okay. So now we got to go down into a little cellar and take on some rats. I thought I saw another dude down there. It's just the the torch cannon. All right, uh, cellar door, that's right here. Man, they keep on me. Got them all. So he grabs this loot and then he opens this with a stone sword key. We're going to need one. And we've got. 
the God Slayer seal here, which he's not very impressed with. And he kind of goes into why a little bit, I think. I was playing it at two by speed. God skin prayer book. A class four golden rune. Okay. We're gonna post up right here and I'll put you on standby. Okay, this next part, I remember I had a devil of a time with this in my Tree Sentinel playthrough. And um, a viewer left a comment and told me a trick. Not really a trick, it, it, it's like how the game works. But how to make this fight a little bit easier, I unfortunately don't really remember what it was. I, I think I have an idea. I don't remember in detail. So we're gonna see if I can, if I'm remembering correctly. Because I think what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to aggro one of them and then run away and he'll actually pursue me down into this area and then that way I only have to fight one at a time. I am going to want to apply poison. Okay, he did. That's a... That's dead man walking, man. He just, <laughs> he's letting that poison tick. much easier. I remember I spent so much time trying to get these two guys and that viewer really helped me out. I was so appreciative. I didn't think he would follow me down the ladder, but uh, but he did. Okay. This guy's a little bit tougher. It's like uh, in boxing when you walk into a punch, it's like double damage. Alright guys, I did lose my runes. Um, it was the rats. I later found out you can just run right past them. I wish I'd done that, but it's not a huge loss. It was like 3,000 runes. I have um, used one flask. Here we go. That was the same mistake I made before. Jeez, man, he hit me with every single one of them. Finally got the poison on him. Oh, 
All right, that fight didn't really feel as cool, but we won. Uh, I kind of thought that he dropped something, but I, I guess not. Maybe he did drop something last time. Might have been a random. I guess it would have been a random drop. If he if he even did that. All right, from here he's gonna go across that way, but I need to go check that video, so I will be right back. Okay, so uh, this part, uh, I, I have to stay on top of it. I think last time I got, it, it was a little hard for me to follow him. This this time around, I, I know what I'm doing here. You gotta sprint across this uh, bridge because they're gonna attack you. I guess not. Okay, well, I expected us to get hit by Ballista. Uh, it didn't happen. But from here, he uh, climbs a ladder over here. And I'm, I might not be remembering right. Uh, this, there might not be anything confusing about this. We'll just have to see how it unfolds. right into it. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's going to cross the bridge here as well. Uh, but I need to go and reference the video, so stand by. Okay. Let's see. Get my game up. There we go. There's a knight over there, but he didn't find any extra loot, so there's like no really re no real reason to go over there unless you just want to brawl. So we're going to head back, and we're we're trying to get to a another grace site. Again, I'm going to sprint across this bridge. Because that dude right there is supposed to fire at us. Okay, again, he missed me. Maybe I'm sneaky. Maybe he doesn't see me. Cowboy is a bit more bulked up. I wonder if the game takes that kind of stuff into account. Three flasks left. We got some guys to clear uh, pretty soon. Yeah, right around the corner, I think. I'm showing that we have about a minute 40 left in this video. There's probably a little bit more than that because I plan on taking this into the editor and trimming it down some. But once we get this gray site, that's where we're going to be pausing it for. We'll end the episode there. Oh, there you are. I knew there was something to be a little bit careful about. God.
on smithing stone. And uh, I think we can just roll by these guys. Our target's right here. Alright, nobody's coming at me. Grab that. And to grab the grace site. There we go, guys. Alright, again, I'm Aesop Grim. Thank you for coming by the channel. Hey, if you liked what you saw, uh, leave a like. Maybe consider subscribing. Um, I've noticed that I, I've gotten a number of likes and a lot of views, and I want to say thank you to you guys that have been leaving likes on the videos. I appreciate that. And I hope everything is going well in your neck of the woods, and that 2023 is treating you well so far. And I'll see you in the next episode where the story continues.